Harley Davidsons and Stars and Stripes on 9-11. It doesn't get more patriotic, but among the bikers in Washington, nothing but contempt for their president. I think Russia's playing them. I don't think that, uh, I think he's just, they're just playing them uh, because he's so weak. Probably give Putin a Nobel Peace Prize for <laughs> brokering the deal like that. Uh, it's pitiful, I think. I mean, we need to get back to being a strong nation. Russia's leader, Vladimir Putin, has continued to upstage Barack Obama with an unprecedented article in today's New York Times warning a strike would increase violence and unleash a new wave of terrorism. It's alarming, he writes, that military intervention in internal conflicts in foreign countries has become commonplace for the United States. Is it in America's long-term interests, he asks. I doubt it. Millions around the world increasingly see America not as a model of democracy, but as relying solely on brute force. And in a direct riposte to Obama's rhetoric, he writes, we must stop using the language of force and return to the path of civilised, diplomatic and political settlement. Barack Obama's being portrayed here as marching to a rhythm played in Moscow. His enemies in Congress are having a field day. The president didn't get an answer, I guess, that he wanted from Congress, so he went over to see what Russia could do with the situation with Syria. Of course, Russia had said they had Syria's back. I, I think that that is not a foreign policy that is a sustainable foreign policy for the U.S. We're not naive about the and U.S. officials are having to justify this newfound willingness to give the Russians and their Syrian allies the benefit of the doubt. I mean, the Syrians have spent years amassing chemical weapons and millions of dollars. Mm -hmm. Is it not naive to think that they are prepared to hand them in just because of the threat of a few cruise missile strikes? Uh, well, I think we've been pretty clear about uh, the challenges we see uh, with this um, and have not been naive about the difficulty. Uh, but uh, there's no question that the interest uh, and willingness of the Russians to uh, play a role as a facilitator in this effort, and we know their relationship with the regime, has increased certainly since August 21st uh, when those terrible events happened and since the threat of military action uh, became a reality. In a park nearby, another Washington ritual and the perfect metaphor for events this week. In the speed chess game of international diplomacy, analysts are in little doubt Who's come off best? Look, I think that Putin is a very clever actor on the world stage. He's very Machiavellian, which means he's playing chess. He's thinking three moves ahead. He's uh, letting the queen escape, but he's, I think, zeroing in on the king. And the Americans have every opportunity to look like they were played by Putin. And if the Americans look like they were played by Putin, if Obama looks like he was played by Putin, that's very detrimental to Obama for the next three years. Barack Obama has for now averted a disastrous defeat in Congress thanks to the Russians. But he may yet have to pay a price for that. Dominic Waghorn, Sky News, Washington.